Hi guys, it's me, Terry of the Yarn Joy Podcast. Welcome back to another tutorial. This is part 12 in the Baby Educational Ball tutorial, okay? Uh, this is a pattern by Patricia Heller, and she did give me permission to make a tutorial showing how, uh, showing how to make this ball. Uh, so thank you, Pat Patricia, for allowing me to be able to do this. Okay, so we are on the 11th panel. So we're almost finished with the, our panels, and then we'll be putting the ball together. Okay, for today's tutorial, we're going to do the bare panel. And so you're going to need a one of your uh, completed panels, okay? Uh, you're going to need a light brown. I have this yarn here. It... I, it looks kind of green on my screen here, but it is a kind of a khaki color. Uh, you can use a, a light brown, any co brown, any color you want to use for a bear. Uh, I wouldn't use a really dark brown color because uh, this is for the main color of the bear because we're going to use black right here, <laughs> just a little bit to to. Um, for the eyes and the eyebrows and his uh, m the muzzle, you know, for his features. And so I wouldn't use a very dark brown. And so this is the brown that I had in the yarn weight that I needed. So this is what I'm going to be using. <laughs> okay. And then you're going to use some white or you can use a uh, cream color if you want to. And it's going to be for the bear's muzzle. Okay. And let's see. You're going to need some stuffing. Okay, for the stuffing inside the muzzle and in the bear's head. You're also going to need your crochet hook. Uh, use the same weight yarn that you've been using throughout this whole project. I've been using a number three weight yarn, so that's what I'm going to be using. I've been using a number three, uh, I mean a three millimeter crochet hook, and that's what I'm going to be using. So you want to use the same hook that you've been using, okay? Uh, you want to use a darning needle or a you know a tapestry needle to weave in your ends and to sew on the features, um, and then you're also going to need a stitch marker would help, and some scissors. Okay, and let's see stuffing. If I didn't say that already, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> and of course your pattern, and I will link in the description box below a link to where you can get the pattern for free. Okay, so. Let's get started. So first we're going to make the main part of the bear's head. Okay, so with your main color, whatever color you're going to be using for your bear, you want to use a do uh, start with a magic circle or a magic ring. Uh, but you can chain uh, put the attach the yarn to your hook with a slip knot and then chain two and then work in the second chain from the hook from the hook if you would are more comfortable doing it that way that's fine but I'm going to be doing a magic ring okay we are going to be working in spirals so we're not going to be joining the ring the rounds okay so that's why a stitch marker will be quite handy <laughs> okay so into the magic ring we're going to put six single crochets okay one two three, four, five, and six. Okay. And then with our starting tail, we're going to pull that, uh, pull that tight to uh, cinch up our circle, our ring, if you're using a magic ring. Okay. So for this first round, we have a stitch count of six single crochets. Okay, going on to round two, we're going to do two single crochets in every stitch around. Get that tail out of the way. Okay, so into the very next stitch, which is the first stitch of the six that we made, we're going to put two single crochets. So one and two. Okay, so now we're going to get the marker, our marker. And we're going to put it in, put the marker in the first of those two stitches that we just made. And that's the first stitch of our round. Okay, going on, we're going to do two single crochets in each stitch all the way around until we get back to the marker. So I'm going to do that and I will meet you when I get to the marker. Okay, I got back to the marker and that is the end of round two. And at the end of round two, you should have 12 single crochets, okay, 12 count, stitch count around your circle. 
Okay, going on to round three, we're going to take the marker out. Going on to round three, it says two single crochets in the next stitch and one single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, and that's our sequence for this round. So right into the next stitch, we're going to do two single crochets, one and two in the same stitch. Then we're going to take our marker and we're going to put the marker in the first of those two single crochets that we just made. Now we're going to do one single crochet in the next stitch, okay? So that's our sequence. Two single crochets in the next stitch, one and two, and one single crochet in the next stitch, okay? So follow that sequence all the way around and I will meet you when we get back to the marker. Okay, I got back to the marker and now I have a stitch count of 18 stitches all the way around my circle. Taking out the marker, going on to round three. I'm sorry, round four. <laughs> okay, so for round four, we're going to do two single crochets in the next stitch and then one single crochet in the next two stitches after that. So going right into our next stitch, we're going to do two single crochets, one and two in the same stitch. Place our marker in the first stitch of those two that we just created. And then one single crochet in the next stitch and one single crochet in the next stitch. And that's your sequence. So two single crochets in the next stitch, one and two, and then one single crochet each in the next two stitches. So one in that one and one in the next one, okay? So follow that sequence all the way around and I will meet you when we get back to the marker. Okay, I've got back to the marker and at the end of round four, we're going. you should have 24 stitches all the way around your circle. Going on to round five, we're gonna remove our marker. And in round five, we're going, to, we're going to do two single crochets in the first stitch and then one single crochet in the next three stitches. And that's our sequence for this round. So right into the next stitch, we're going to do two single crochets, one and two. Put our marker in the first of those two single crochets. And then now we're going to do one single crochet each in the next three stitches. So one two and three okay and that is our sequence for this round so two single crochets in the next stitch one and two and then one single crochet each in the next three stitches one two three okay so repeat that sequence around and i will meet you back when we get back to the marker Okay, I'm back to the marker, and so at the end of round five, we should have 30 stitches all the way around our circle. Okay, going on to round six, this is the last round of increases. We're going to take out our marker, and we're going to follow this the following sequence. We're going to do two single crochets in the first stitch, so one and two. Put our marker in the first of those two stitches. Okay. And then we're going to do one single crochet each in the next four stitches. So one, two, three, and four. Okay? So follow that sequence all the way around. So two single crochets in the next stitch, one and two, and then one single crochet in the next four stitches. And then so follow that sequence all the way around and I'll meet you when we get back to the marker. Okay, so I'm back to the marker again, and so at the end of round six, you should have 36 stitches all the way around your circle. Okay, so now we are going on to round seven, and so rounds seven, eight, nine, and ten, you're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So you will keep the stitch count of 36 okay so you just move your marker to the first uh, single crochet each time for each round to mark the beginning of your round and so so that's all you're gonna do so seven eight nine and ten so that's four rounds of just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and keeping your stitch count at 36 so I'm gonna get my four rounds in and I will meet you when I get at the end of the fourth round and got, get back to the marker Okay, I got back to the marker and I've completed my four rounds of just one single crochet in each stitch around. And so 
I still have a stitch count of 36, okay? So that is the end of the part for the head. So now all we're gonna do is take our marker out and then we're going to slip stitch into the next stitch to fasten off, but make sure that you leave a tail because you're going to use this tail to sew your bear onto the panel. And so I just kind of ring the to I just ring it around the circle here of my yarn loosely to make sure that I have enough and then cut my yarn. And then since we did since we did a slip stitch, you can just pull your yarn all the way through and tighten it up. And there is the main head part of our bear. Okay. Going on to uh, the next section of the pattern uh, it has you to do the muzzle next starting with the magic ring is just like we did before uh, And like I said, you can also chain two and work in the second chain from the hook But starting with the magic ring I'm going to do six single crochets into the magic ring One two, three, four, five, and six, okay? And then I'm gonna tighten up my circle here by pulling on the beginning tail, okay? And now we're gonna go right on to, that was round one, and so we have six single crochets in our stitch count. So going on to round two, we're, we're now going to do two single crochets in each stitch around, okay? So going right into the first stitch of round one, we're going to do two single crochets, one and two. Now we're going to place our marker in the first stitch of those two that we just created to mark the beginning of our round. And then we're going to do two single crochets in each stitch around one and two and we're going to keep doing that two in each stitch all the way around and I will meet you when I get back to the marker okay so I'm back to the marker and at the end of round two you should have 12 stitches all the way around your circle okay so going on to round three we're going to do two single crochets in the first stitch and one single crochet in the next stitch so taking out my marker I'm going to do two single crochets in the first stitch, one and two, and then I'm going to put my marker back in there in the first stitch of those two that we just created, and then I'm going to do one single crochet in the next stitch, and that's our sequence. So two single crochets in the next stitch, one and two, and then one single crochet in the next stitch, okay? So repeat, repeat that sequence all the way around and I will meet you when I get back to the marker. Okay, so I just finished round three and at the end of round three, you should have 18 stitches all the way around your circle. Okay, in round four, we're going to take our marker out and then we're going to do two single crochets in the next stitch, in the first stitch, so one and two going to replace our marker back in the first stitch of those two that we just created and then we're going to do one single crochet in the next two stitches so one and two one each okay and then repeat that sequence so two single crochets in the next stitch one and two and then one single crochet each in the next two stitches so one and two repeat that sequence all the way around and I will meet you when I get back to the marker Okay, so I'm back at the marker again, and at the end of round four, you should have 24 stitches all the way around your circle, and that is the end of the rounds that we need to do for the muzzle. So I'm gonna take my marker out. I'm gonna slip stitch into the next stitch to fasten off, okay? And then I am gonna leave a tail for this as well because I'm gonna use that tail to sew the muzzle onto the head right there <laughs> of the bear. So just kind of loop my thread uh, the yarn here around my piece so then I'll know I know that's going to go around the circle there 
cut my yarn and then pull my yarn through since I did a slip stitch and then just uh, snug it up to uh, tighten it up where you fasten it off. Okay, so now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make the ears. So going back to the light brown yarn that you were using or whatever color you're using for the main color of your bear, we're going to start with the magic ring again or you can work in the second chain from the chain two and work from the second chain from the hook and we're going to do six single crochets into the magic ring. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, and then pull on our beginning tail to cinch up our circle. We have a stitch count of six around in our for, for our first round. Okay, going on to round two, we're going to do two single crochets in each stitch all the way around. So going right into our first stitch and do two stitches, two single crochets, one and two. Get our marker and put it in the first stitch of those two that we just made. And now we're going to do two single crochets in each stitch all the way around and I will meet you when I get back to the marker. Okay, I'm back to the marker again and so now you should have a stitch count of 12 all the way around your circle. So I'm going to now replace, uh, take my marker out and it says for rounds 3, 4, and 5, you're going to do just one stitch in each stitch around, okay? So you're going to keep your stitch count of uh, 12. Okay, so I'm going to do the next three rounds, one stitch in each stitch all the way around, keeping my stitch mark er, stitch count at 12 okay <laughs> and then so I'm going to mark the beginning of each round so I can keep track of it and then I'm going to uh, work on my three rounds and then I will meet you when I get back to the marker okay so I got back to the marker again and I just completed my three rounds of one stitch in each stitch around and so I still have a a count of 12 around my circle and now that's the end of our ear so I'm going to take my marker out I'm going to uh, just poke this tail this is the beginning tail when I made the magic circle and I'm just gonna put it inside the ear there okay and then uh, we're gonna fasten off so I'm gonna slip stitch into the next stitch fasten off okay and then I am gonna leave a little bit of a tail not a huge amount but enough because I'm going to use that to sew the ears on, ear onto the head of the bear so I do want to leave a little bit of a tail trim that off oops I didn't cut all the way through okay and then just pull my yarn through since I did a slip stitch tighten it up okay and so for the ear we're not going to stuff it we're just going to fold it flat okay like that just fold it flat and I try to put my where my tail begins I want to have that at the edge of when I'm folding it flat and then when I'm sewing it on I can cup the ear forward like that see a little bit when I'm sewing it on to form my ear uh, make it look more like an ear okay so I'm going to you pause the video here or or reverse the video and make another ear because you need uh, two of them of course and so do it the same way that we did this one we're going to do the five rounds one through five and then come back when you have the second ear made I'm going to get my second ear made as well <laughs> okay so I finished the second ear and so now I'm ready to start sewing on the facial features of the bear and so I took a length of the brown the same color that I used for the uh, main color of the bear and I'm going to take my muzzle piece here and then I'm going to uh, stitch on the nose and just referring to the picture that's on the pattern just go at the top of the muzzle and start uh, putting some long stitches across the top probably not at the very top but like one row down 
and then I want to just make some long stitches. So I'm going to skip one, two, three, probably three stitches. Uh, let's see. Is that... And you can kind of hold it up to your bear's face to see if you, the nose is big enough. One, two, three. I'm going to go four stitches over. And then I'm just going to go back and forth um, through those stitches, the same stitches, to make my nose. Not back and forth, around and around, I guess. <laughs> And can, you can put your thumb under there and right before it tightens down that way you can get it to go above the stitches above the stitches instead of right on top of where you're stitching to get some width in your uh, on your nose there make sure it's going at the top of it And just keep doing that until you get it to the size that you're wanting. See? I think one more stitch. Okay. Okay. There's my nose. And that's all that I'm going to use the brown yarn for so I can go ahead and turn my work over and I'm just going to tie the two ends together um, in a knot. All this is going to be underneath. We won't, you won't be able to see any of this. Just tie it in a knot. Double knot. <laughs> and then trim off the ends. Okay, so there is our nose. Okay, okay, going on to making the mouth, I'm going to take some black yarn. I know this is black on black here, but um, I think you'll be able to see it okay since I'm working on in the white. So, cutting off a piece of my black yarn and threading it onto my needle. And again, I'm just going to be referring to the picture. Okay, so I want to start at the middle part, right underneath the bottom edge of the nose, right in the middle. Okay, I'm going to bring up a stitch, and then I'm going to go down. Uh, let's see, past the... I'll probably let's say one, two, three, three, three rows down or something like that. It's past the halfway mark of where the center part of that muzzle is, and then I'm going to uh, make a little smile on both sides. Okay, it looks like it looks kind of like an anchor or something. <laughs> the shape. So I'm just going to go on both sides of where I came down at. Okay, and it looks like this one needs to be a little bit longer, so I'm just going to try to even out the length here. Okay, see? So I made a smile. Seems like it's a little twisted. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now we're ready to put our muzzle onto our bear. So again, I'm going to take the two ends where I sewed the uh, smile or the sew the smile on <laughs> and I'm just going to tie it in a knot and so that way I can trim the yarn um, real short. Okay. Trim that short. And then before I trim this second tail, I, 
as you can see, I still have the center t uh, center where, uh, the, where I started uh, with the magic ring. And so I'm just going to take a piece, some of this black tail here, and I'm going to just tie it in a knot just to secure that uh, white strand. And then I can cut that one too. Okay. And then cut both of them short. Okay. So now we've got our muzzle. And so now I'm going to take the yarn that I have left over from the muzzle, uh, this, the sewing yarn, the sewing tail, and I'm going to put it on my needle. And I'm going to take my face of my bear, I mean the head of the bear, <laughs> and I'm going to place that on there. Um, I don't want it right in the center of my circle, like covering centered over the uh, beginning um, round. I want to kind of put it... I would say maybe, yeah, have where you're going to start the muzzle about where that beginning central ring is or maybe one row above, see that, and, and start your muzzle down like that in that area, if that makes sense. <laughs> Okay, and then I'm just going to go s start stitching in and out through both thicknesses, and I can hold hold the piece steady with my uh, thumb. You can use some pins if you want to, uh, if that will help you hold it more secure, but I'm just going to, I think, hold it with my thumb and just keep checking it, make sure that it hasn't shifted anywhere that I don't want it to shift. <laughs> and then I'm going to just um, stitch in and out around my circle. And then right before I close, I will come back and, and we'll see if we want to add a little bit of stuffing in there, okay? So I'll meet you up when I get almost finished sewing it on. Okay, I've almost got it sewed all the way flat, uh, I mean all the way around. And so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just add just a small amount, just a very tiny amount of stuffing. Um, in there to kind of plump, plump up that muzzle and I'm going to use the back end of my crochet hook to poke it in there Maybe a little bit more okay and now I'm going to finish sewing it all the way around and I will meet you when I get finished with doing that Okay, so I finished sewing on the muzzle, and I finished off and uh, tied the, my ending tail to a tail that was on the inside already to secure it. And now let's go ahead and sew on our eyes. So taking a length of black yarn, going to thread up our needle, and then we're going to stitch on our eyes just still referring to the picture looks like they have the eyes above uh, pretty close together right kind of on either side lining up with where the nose is okay and then I'm going to go up about two stitches something like that Just like that and then I'm going to put probably three stitches in there going through those same holes to um, get a little width to my eyes okay like that and now I'm going to make another one probably skip over maybe just two stitches it looks like this did the eyes are pretty close together um, in the picture and so let me go ahead and uh, get my second eye stitched on and then I will meet you back up okay <laughs> okay so I've got my second eye stitched on and I still have a length of yarn on my needle and I'm gonna go ahead and use that and stitch on a couple little eyebrows it looks like it's above the eye and out, uh, but over to the out, outer side a little bit so I'm going to go up around two stitches 
and it looks like it's just a single stitch or maybe over a stitch or two a stitch and a half on the width and then do the same thing on the other side okay so there's our little bear face <laughs> okay so I'm going to do as I was have done all the other ones where I'm going to now tie the ends together in a knot on the back side secure that down and then we will now be ready to sew the bear onto the panel. Okay, I'm just going to stick those tails on the inside there. So now I'm going to thread my needle with the tail end of the bear's head. And I'm taking my panel. Got a little, some lint on there. <laughs> and I want to just center it right in the middle of the panel. Okay, and you want to center like with the top pointed up. And then I'm just going to start stitching my bear down. And right before I finish step, uh, finish going around my circle here, stitching my bear down, I am going to um, put some stuffing in. Okay, so we we'll do it the same way that we did the muzzle. We're just going to go around the circle and just keep holding it or you can actually use some pins if you want but make sure that the bear's head doesn't go sideways like that <laughs> just keep uh, checking the placement of it as you're stitching around and then uh, right before you in right before you finish off maybe when you're three-fourths of the way around then you can insert some stuffing under there so let me start um, so I'm going to go ahead and go around my bear's head and, and stuff it. Okay, so I finished sewing my bear's head on and I did insert a, quite a bit of stuffing um, inside there before I finished it up all the way. Okay, now I'm going to just finish off the back. Um, just tie off my yarn. Maybe work it over here to the closer to where I've got my uh, yarn tail from my magic circle when I finished my when I'd made my panel and tie the ends together to secure them. Okay, and trim it off short just to get them out of my way. Okay, now all we have to do is sew our ears on. Okay. So here's the ear. I have it where the tail that I'm going to do the stitching is on the edge from where I uh, fold it in half. Okay, I'm going to thread up my needle with the tail, and then just um, referring to the picture, I want to hold my the ears up there on either side to see where I'm wanting to place them. Looks like they are. Um, Oh, maybe three or four stitches apart at the top okay and I'm just gonna sew those on and I'm gonna sew them onto the head okay and that you remember you've got two uh, thicknesses there the front and the back where you, where you folded the ear together so you want to make sure that you go through both of those um, thick you know both thicknesses of the ear and then into the head okay just like that okay I'm gonna keep sewing my ear on and oh and one thing I am I'm gonna attempt to do or keep in mind about doing is instead of folding it just keeping it flat the ear flat and it, it it looks more almost like a Mickey Mouse ear, I think. Um, try to cup the ear forward just a little bit as you're stitching it down to give it a kind of a more uh, three-dimensional look. Uh, I guess you'd say three-dimensional, I don't know. <laughs> but just curve it forward just a little bit um, when you're sewing it down. Gives it a little more character. <laughs> you just bring each uh, in to the front a little bit as far as where you're placing it placing the stitches 
See that? I've just cupped the ear just a little bit. And I'm going to do that to both of the ears. Okay? And so I'm going to go ahead and finish sewing on my ears. And then I will meet you up when I get finished doing that. And then we will end the video. See you in a bit. Okay, I just got finished sewing on my second ear, and then I pulled both tails of the ends, of, tail ends of the yarn that I used to stitch them on with to the back of the panel, and then I tied them together in a knot. See that? And then I just trimmed it short. Okay, so that is the end of the tutorial for today. So thanks so much for watching the tutorial, guys, and I hope you're enjoying making this ball as much as I am. And we will see you in the next video. Bye.